Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Kane's Wrath replay. I spawn north side as the uh, Indigo Steel Talons. We have I Am Raider. I spawn on the bottom side as the Red Random Nod variant. We have Dark Apprentice. Let's see now what Nod variant he is. Oh, there's the Hayden Nod, and he is Nod. So Vanilla Nod versus Steel Talons. Engineer being employed on out in the field. This is not a Rutherford 3 map, so you, this is not something you can capture. Though it seems like something you could capture. Let's see, in the bottom right, there is a EMP center. I see the saboteurs. There is a EMP or Tiberian spike there and Tiberian spike there. Why did he. Okay, he's going for this uh, Tiberian control. This. Not Tiberian. This EMP control center as well. So Nod is eyeing for all the capturable structures. DDI as well. But not for the EMP control center, so the Nod player will have EMP in the near future. Also, play out a saboteur this direction here. And maybe there's a Q move over here. The crane in the water there. Interesting. So I'm sort of admiring this uh this uh map. Definitely a custom map, that's for sure. Definitely Relative 3 inspired, I guess. Uh oh, he finds that saboteur there! So he does kill off the saboteur. He powers the hand and nod. He could try selling up the hand and nod to get that ball to run over some infantry units. Yes, that ball can crush infantry units as it gets destroyed or sold off. Now we do have a mobile repair transport pushing way forward. Raider buggy, of course, will kill off these riflemen. This hybrid spike has not been claimed. Uh, this one has. So where's that other saboteur? There's a saboteur. So I don't see it. Let's put in health bars. We got Milton squad over here trying to protect the Tiberian, or uh, not Tiberian, EMP control center. And this Tiberian uh, spike has been secured now. Engineer deployed on the field. MCV does pack on up. MCV can MCV crush an engineer. Sells off the hand and nod there. The gun down the engineer. Very nice. And mobile repair, repair transport. Maybe I am for some landmines. Ooh, getting some great damage right there. And since he can repair himself, it's hard for him to actually be gunned down by a militant squad. Up north, we've got the radar bugging in some damage on these harvesters, heavy harvesters. There's also a militant squad here, king some damage. And it does load up a rocket squad in the back on these heavy harvesters. Wait, wait, what? The Steel Talons MCV is now pushing on forward, and that is not a second MCV. So we're going to see a very aggressive game pulled out by the Steel Talons player. He can pull out Ford War Factory in order to get Titans to dance around. In fact, Titans are pretty good against the Union opponent's infrastructure because they can shoot over it. The Steel Talents MCV has now been deployed on out. Does he see this? What does he see? Building. He sees he immediately he sees Officer that. He does not see that MCV whatsoever. Now we got a watchtower here. Scorpion tank on the field. We've got a combat engineer pulled on the field, trying to go for capture. Scorpion tanks are not fitting that engineer. Sells it off. Does get the crush there on the engineer. War factory pulled there. Low power on the, the guardian cannon. Another engineer pulled on the field, trying to hide for that war factory, likely, but will be gunned down by the uh, raider buggy. Guardian cannon is getting some great damage there on to not being repaired. Up scorpion tank. But bulls pushing way forward, trying to get some damage here. We got the mobile repair transport as well that can repair up this uh, four units. But it himself is getting hit simply. He's trying to go for landmines there, but it's only to get the landmines off. Guardian can still firing away, getting some great damage there. Another engineer pulling on the field, but it's getting gunned down. Just to stop both of those engineers, they're expensive. Another Guardian can pull out on the field, but the other one has gone down. This push is not going to low. Got also a Ford refiner harvester here. Another engineer to pull on the field. Not Still not being affected. Two guarding cans in here. Guarding cans are doing a good job of focus firing so now we do have a war factor here. Does lose that heavy harvester. 
Once Garden Cane's almost gone down. Got another Garden Cane here. He sells off that other one that was basically dead. Now the Rifle Squad gets a great hit there on the Militant Squads. This Garden Cane is getting focused on quite a bit. Now we've got a Titan here. He can use his infrastructure to his advantage. And plus receive uh, free repairs. However, the Titan's going for crushes. Let's get one, two, three, four. Four crushes there by that uh, Titan there. Looks like he may be a bit low on credits. Throws out another refinery there. He should not have sold off that uh, War Factor, in my opinion. He could throw something in the back of that Heavy Harvester. So, so, so the Rocket Squad. Got Garden Cannon here, as was Watchtower. Watchtower's been trying to gun down all the Rocket Squads. He needs a man to control it, take out those Rocket uh, Squads. Another Engineer Quad on the field. There's no Raider Buggies, but the Militant Squad is gunning down, does gun down the Engineer there. They have another War Factor to pull out of here. Facing the good direction there to get out tight in this direction. Maybe our certain now seem some repairs. Perhaps come back on off, pick up a militant rocket squad. Not militant rocket squad, missile squad. Garden cans received a bit of fire there. He's put guarding cans behind his infrastructure now. Watchtower now being put on the front line. We do have two crushes there by the Titan as well. Watchtower does go down there. Titan just firing away happily. Another power plant right there. You need that maybe the power plant's out. Let's all watch out the back line. Very, very nice. More Titans wouldn't be half bad. Though honestly right now, more watchtowers probably be a bit better than trying to go for more guarding cannons. He needs the extra AT infantry now. Guarding cannon does deploy on the front line. Titan still seems a bit more fire there. Another watchtower there. Very, very nice. It's able to gun down these Milton Rocket squads. What is this player's going for? He's, ooh, the refinery does get sold off there. He's expanding out over here. He's starting to slowly abandon this region. Titan, however, there's still a large number of Titans here. Command post being put on the front line as well. He needs to get his armor pierced rounds as soon as possible for his watchtower. We've got multiple laser turrets here for defense. Titans, however, are very, very durable. He does get Black Hand burning down this command post. Goes for a. Tiberian style there, but these lasers can fire through such structures. Multiple black hands have pulled out of the field. We got a large number of turrets here. Salute so down these titans. He needs to focus fire these titans a little bit better, but it's probably hard to do that because he just can't select all these turrets at once. So they have to basically rely on the auto targeting with them. He's got a number of these titans as well. Watchtower is getting focused down now. And now some of these laser turrets going down. He's starting to hit these hubs. Titans try to go for a crush there. Unsuccessful. Another Titan does go down. One Titan remains. Sells off that refinery there. No point trying to harvest right there. Laser turret does go down there. We've got multiple watchtowers in this region. we still got a Nod War Factor here. Ooh, Verticos. Very, very nice. The command post is still up. Oh, that's... No, that's not a Vertigo. That's a ven uh, Venom. That was a bad idea. He should not have deployed out these Venoms. These Venoms do not have high enough damage output. The MCB, however, is packed on up, so there's no A in the area. And the Venoms don't really have high enough damage output to really to hurt on. He does use the fo Focus Fire Repair ability there in order to get this to tighten the quickly repaired on up. We do got two refineries here as well as enough uh, harvest for them. He could pull out a third refinery and get enough and actually support the number of harvesters. This base back up here has been cleaned on up. This base is already cleaned on up. The GDF player is going to be running on fumes at the moment. He does have a construction yard here. There's quite a bit of force here. But caught a bit of it, it's actually quite wounded. Actual, okay, he does not go across the bridge. Those Venoms could have potentially focus fire down the bridge. Got a good number of militant rocket squads here. Venoms could pick up any of the riflemen. And now got a number of engineers to go on the field. He's going for his opponent's Tiberian spikes. Very nice. I wonder how much this will change if if the Nauta player actually would have managed, managed to gather that, that, that EMP spike. Because that EMP spike could have got at least two EMPs off that engagement. Venom's pushing way forward. 
One of these refiners could be sold, does be sold on off. It does have, of course, a battery there. And does throw a rocket squad inside that harvester in that, or that maybe the same one's still there. Very nice. Mine drop right here. Ooh, takes up both of those harvesters as well. And the GDI player needs that Tiberium severely bad. Good damage there. I'm not sure where the rest of this harvester may have went. This game can still go either way. Patton's getting some much needed repairs, which is very good. Venom's having trouble harassing this area because of that AA turret. And now do have he does spot that airfield, which is very important. So he does have a large number of militant rocket squads here. It does have the Confessor Cabal upgrade. The uh Confessor upgrade. Which I don't think these guys actually fire with a gun. They just fire off the uh, hallucinogenic grenades. No, they do actually fire their rifle shots, don't they? That must have been changed. Good damage there. Let's get the the uh, Tiberium fusion to increase the health. As well as prevent Tiberium poisoning. Those grenades do connect as well. And all those rock, uh, rifle squad do get cleaned up thanks to the fact that Professor Cabal upgrade does come out. We also have the militant rifle, uh, militant squads going out of the field. He did sum up all his watchtowers in this region, and now we've got the venom pushing way forward as well. Watchtower to fall out of the field, no AP rounds. He doesn't have foxholes either. Foxholes, if he would have put him out some foxholes, that would have been quite good. Yeah, the missile squads will get them out of there quickly. You have an AA turret here, just try to deal with those venoms slowly. Titan's going to receive massive amounts of fire there. One of them do go down. Ooh, shadow squads. Shadows do uh, put some perk onto the command post. And this watchtower is still slow and flying around. The second squad coming for a crush. Gets chasing down all these forces who do now have AP rounds loaded, uh, loaded on up. And he's trying to go for this command post there. If he takes out the command post, there's no more AA. Now there's no more AA. A lot of these infantry squads are now being crushed by the Titan, but it still has a good number of uh, watchtowers here for defense. As well as a lot of power here. Perhaps he could sell some of those power plants. Sells up the refinery. Perhaps we just kept that around and sell up some of those power plants. Over here, he does have some good defense still here, as well as a lot of wounded harvesters, but they're still alive in good, in good numbers. Northern Rock Squad is getting gunned down by these watchtowers. Titan's still alive. And those are Bloodhounds, which he is going to get a pair of veteran Wolverines from that. Oh, the Wolverines don't come veteran. Interesting. Those pitbulls will quickly go down, but those Wolverines are what he really wanted them for. And they'll get focused down quite quickly. Venom slowly gunning down these Tiberian spikes. He has Red has claimed one of the Tiberian spikes. Indigo has three. <coughs> Got a good number of Milton Rock squads being deployed on out, making their way up north. Just a full man spam by the Nod player. And I see him not changing from that. He does have the MCV. You may want to just out more perfect just in case. You can actually take time to garrison some, some of these uh, structures to prevent any sort of like hammerheads to start coming on in or something. Speaking of which, we got hammerheads being deployed on in. Gotta load up some riflemen. There we go, Barracks. He needs riflemen in the back then. Though, there's a lot of these missile squads. He does have to garrison some of these uh, garrisons. Got some Wolverines here. The Wolverines can overwhelm. Now here comes the Hammerheads. We'll see that they probably don't have enough any riflemen squads load up on the end of them. They're going to go on down. And he's just sort of running away. He probably should have stood in fight. I don't think he's going to run away from them.
Good splash damage there. Next rocket will take out. Oh, nope, he does save both. Uh, that one. So, got this man stand pushing way forward, taking out that refinery line. Not like it was providing much, but some is better than nothing, especially when you don't already had invested. And those forces all get cleaned on up. So like these typing specs are being cleaned on up. There is this one remaining, as well as this one. One for each player now. Oh! Building up Grenadiers. That's interesting. That could be very effective. These Hammerheads are starting to go down. He needs the Grenadier 1 to charge him forward and go for a drive-by. Grenades are raining on it, and look at that force! I can't tell if that was from the Grenadier or from the Pitbulls. The Pitbull Mortar. That entire man spam, man spam force went down in almost an instant. Probably both the pitbull mortars and the grenades had something to do with that. Great AoE damage there. <laughs> Scatter move over there. Probably a good idea to get some of these garrisonable structures to prevent those hammerheads from moving around the map freely. And how these venoms going to receive some fire from these pitbulls. And some of them do, in fact. Well, at least one just goes down. He does save the Tiberian Spike there. As Pitbull sort of just camping out all the regions, this structure is, here is not garrisonable. Red is out of Tiberium here. He could expand up here. Uh, maybe Long Harvest needs more than plenty though. Green does have a bit of Tiberium here to play around with. He could he may be eyeing for expansion now. Both uh, players have been cleaned up. Blue tip, at least red has. Oh. That hammer had, had a uh, aggressive uh, descent. There's actually, let's see, there's like at least three grenadiers here. One, two, three. Uh, looks like four grenadiers loaded up onto these uh, hammerheads. So there's a lot of grenadiers in these hammerheads now. EDI players also claim some is Tiberium. And I'm still down here. The bulls can't be both sides, so they're just sort of stuck there now. Oh, very good. Game inside this the structure there will help also deny the blue tib. And he does have Grenadiers inside these garrisons, so my idea of actually having him just garrison all the structures nearby is actually not that useful because there goes the grenades, clean out the structure. So I'm going to quickly take out these harvesters now. Grenades do rain out in, grenades do also do decent damage versus buildings. So we can actually take time to deal with the buildings themselves. Ooh, low power, hit the power plants, hit the power plants, hits the <laughs> good power plant there, no tip for missiles as well. Going for the uh, operations center, trying to get it down. Does get it down, so no more SAM sites. But, ooh, a lot of these hammerheads are very wounded from those uh, missile squads. Maybe good idea just to pull it back. That is neutral. And now it's dead. But these hammerheads may need to fall back. There's a lot of damaged hammerheads there. Wait, what? He actually managed to grab some green tib there, and almost got four loads on all three of those. Does get this one of those uh missile squads are fully heroic and these missile squads still alive but can splash down thanks to the pit bulls. Dancing around, we've got a good number of scorpion tanks as well as militant rocket squads here. Pit bull mortars are training on in, but the scorpion tanks are firing, but they're unupgraded scorpion, not even those are blade. Pit bull mortars do get some damage there. Hammerheads advancing forward, trying to deal with these forces, trying to gun down these infantry forces. 
overheads are almost all down. There's only one that's decently healthy. Him is charging on force well, trying to get any sort of damage in. Grenades raining on in. And a lot of these right middle rock squads are down. More grenades raining on in. Getting some great AoE damage on these forces, but the Milton Rocket Squads will take up the last of those hammerheads. Ooh, there's a redemption power, but it is far, far too late. Now we do have these uh, Awakened Squads there. EMPs do miss. <coughs> the redemption power is quite cheap. It's like, what, 750? Insufficient funds. Under it is 750. Our base is under attack. Like, if he would have cast out a little bit sooner, he would have got a lot of wake in there to bulk up his force. Red. What? Okay, there's Red's NCV. He still has a refinery there. As well as some harvesters there. All playing Tiberian to collect there for the time being. No more war factory. Destruction towers been turned back online. And these uh, Firehawks were set aggressive, so they actually were thrown off by that Disruption Tower. Let's take up the Disruption Tower now. So it's a Tech Lab here as well. Blue's basically out of Tiberium, trying to grab some Blue Tib. We had this Firehawk pushing away forward. Multiple Firehawk bomb runs on the SAM turret. Turns out the tech lab there, very good. And without tip core missiles, those the SAM sites will have a bit of trouble. Tech lab still up and going. Does that refiner here? Going for more uh hand or uh what's it called? Milton rocket squads. He does not have access to the redemption power anymore. One refinery there. He probably can't go even more of that. He can rotate two of these harvesters up north in order to get it uh, collecting. Does go ahead and start rotating two of them up north. Firehawk's pushing away forward, trying to eye for a bomb run. There's a lot of juicy targets here for him. Refinery does go down now. Oh, there's actually two airfields work. Get some massive bomb runs there. <clears throat> Got two airfields. This one just needs repairs. The other airfield's right there. So a lot of various uh, watchtowers here. He doesn't want to be caught off guard by another man span. Oh, good idea to sell off that SAM site. No missiles actually connect right there. A good idea just to go back to base now. The blue tip here. So one of those uh, harvesters could go up there and get some Tiberium. <coughs> Operations point forward and out. He's probably going to go for the liquid Tiberium core power plants now. War Factory does go down to all of those Firehawks. And I just heard of Marv. Yep, Marv assembly has been completed. Probably not a good time to go for that. You don't. That's a very expensive investment right there. Do not got a tower push into a SAM site. I'm sure that's really a tower push. Tipful Mortar missed a very static target there. You have one job, Tipful Mortar, and you're not very good at that. You're only good in large numbers, not by yourself. Some of these Firehawks have gone down. Three went down here. None went down there. Pack bikes are pushing on forward, getting some great damage there. Still no tip core missiles. <coughs> and his mine run will connect with the ground. Firehawk does go down there. 
Good farm runs across multiple structures there, but lose a large number of firehawks. Oh, there's no more refinery. He has a type tip spike. That's it. He has no refinery on the field or any sort of infrastructure. He has to wait for the tib spike to give him enough tib to get back in the game. So he's going to just take time, hit the Firehawks on the deck, which is very good. Find some exposed... Oh, that is a orbital strike. That is a massive waste. Why is he feeling that much tib if he called an orbital strike? Attack spikes will not be able to advance down there. <clears throat> and now got a fully horror attack bike, able to quickly heal himself up. Yeah. There's the Space Upload Command, and there's the Marv, completely unloaded. Marv does get a kill there. And now he has to rely on a man spam to deal with a Marv, which is unupgraded. In fact, selling up that watchtower, loading up some riflemen wouldn't be half bad. His MCD got severely hit there. Another watchtower fly out of there in a good position. Chalkwave artillery raining on in somewhere. Right there. More of these towers being floating out. MCB is currently uh, stunned. And more watchtowers being floating out. He does have a black hand squad there. Attack bike pushing on four as well. It's a kill there onto the pit bull, but does go down to the mar. Garrison has been playing, but it's loaded up with some militant uh, uh, rifleman squads. And the Marv is not under any sort of threat, really. Going for the Black Hand now. For the Hand and Nod now. And sells off everything there. This is Anna Great saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.